Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain periodicity of the signal. To understand periodicity of the signal, I will solve 5 interesting examples in this video. First of all, I will discuss about basics of periodicity of the signal. If you have a signal which is repeating after finite duration t, then one can say given signal is periodic signal. So if signal repeats after finite duration t, then given signal is periodic signal. If we have algebraic addition of two or more periodic signals, then by two different methods, we can identify periodicity. First method is ratio method and second method is GCD method. Let us consider we have two periodic signals x1t and x2t. x1t that is having duration t1 and x2t that is having duration t2. Then using ratio method, we can identify periodicity. In ratio method, we take a ratio of t1 by t2 and as if this ratio is rational integer number, then one can say given signal is periodic signal. In second method, with GCD method, we identify GCD of the frequency. For example, if you have two signals x1t and x2t and with x1t signal, we have a frequency f1 and with x2t signal, we have a frequency f2. Then by taking a division of f1 and f2, we need to identify GCD. See here, when you take division at that time, as if remainder is zero, then one can say GCD is possible with the frequency. And as if GCD is possible, then given signal is periodic signal. And as if given signal is periodic signal, then fundamental duration that one can identify by calculation of LCM. So here we will be having two or more signals and that is having duration T1, T2 and T3 and so on. With multiple T1, T2, T3, we need to identify LCM of those multiple T1, T2, T3 and that will be fundamental duration. Now I will explain how exactly we can identify all those things. So let us solve first question. See first question that is based on discrete signal and in discrete signal fundamental duration that will be there in form of samples. Let me explain how to identify number of samples in terms of fundamental duration. So here we have xn that is discrete signal that is given by cos of 6 pi n by 7 plus 1. So with this signal, you need to understand few basics. Like you can observe, here we have one that is phase, right? And here we have 6 pi n by 7 that is representing frequency. So here based on this frequency term, we can identify fundamental period. Here one should know this frequency term that is there in proportion of n and that is 2 pi fn that one should know that is equals to 6 pi n by 7. Based on that, you can identify frequency f. Here this n and 2 pi is getting cancelled. So we will be having 3 by 7 that is frequency. Now with this frequency, there are few basics that you need to understand. Like you see here we have 3 by 7 and that is cycles per samples that one should know. So here how many cycles are there with us? Three cycles are there with us and for that we have seven samples, right? So this frequency that is practically k by n where k is number of cycles and n is samples. So after three cycle here we have a frequency means after seven samples signal is getting repeated. So here fundamental duration that is seven samples, right? Now I will explain second interesting question. See in second question, we need to identify periodicity and fundamental period of this given signal. So here if you carefully observe, here we have x of n is equals to cos of pi n square by eight. So here we have n square instead of n. If you observe in first question, here we were been having n, but now we have n square. Now how to identify frequency here? 
See, to identify frequency, here you need to compare this phase as per 2 pi f square n square that is equals to this phase, right? Why we are doing 2 pi f square n square? The reason is here n square is there. If you have n cube, then we need to do 2 pi f cube n cube that is equals to given phase, right? Here we have n square. So this frequency that will be as per 2 pi f square n square is equals to pi n square by 8. Now here we need to simplify this here n square that is getting cancelled. So we'll be having f square that is equals to 1 by 16 means we have frequency f that is 1 by 4. Now what is the meaning of this? See this is cycles per sample. Here number of cycles that is k and samples that is n and after every four samples here signal is repeated. So here fundamental period for given discrete signal that is capital N is equals to 4. So after four samples this signal is getting repeated. So always remember with discrete signal fundamental period that will be based on number of samples. If you have sine signal or cosine signal then here you need to see n. Here we have n square. If you have n then this frequency term that will be 2 pi f n that is this and if you have n square over here then 2 pi f square n square that is equals to this term. If you have n cube then 2 pi f cube n cube that is how you need to simplify given terms right. Now I will solve few more interesting questions that is based on continuous time signal. Now here we have continuous time signal you can observe and we need to check periodicity. If you observe, we have two signals, those are periodic signals. So here we have algebraic addition of two periodic signal. So we need to identify in total periodicity of x of t. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to identify duration of periodicity for separate signals. So here with first signal, we have omega 1 that is phi and with the second signal, we have omega 2 that is pi. Based on omega 1, we can identify time duration t1 that is 2 pi by omega 1. Here we have omega 1 that is phi and based on omega 2, we can identify duration t2 for this signal that is 2 pi by omega 2, 2 pi by pi, here omega 2 is pi. So duration t2 that is 2 second over here and to identify periodicity of x of t we need to take ratio of t1 and t2. So if you calculate t1 by t2 then here we will be having 2 pi divided by 5 divided by 2. So this will be pi by 5 and this number that is not rational integer number. See rational integer number that could be 1 by 5 or 2 by 5. So here there should be ratio of two integer numbers. This pi that is 3.14 means this given number is not rational integer number. If given number is not rational integer number then one can say given signal x of t that is not periodic. Now I will solve fourth question of this video. See in fourth question we need to check periodicity and we need to identify fundamental period. So first of all we need to understand what is the time duration for this signal and this signal. See time duration for this signal that is based on omega 1 that is equals to pi and time duration of this signal that is based on omega 2 that is equals to 4 pi. If you want to identify t1 then that is 2 pi by omega 1 and if you place omega 1 is equals to pi then t1 will be 2 second and if you want to identify t2 then t2 is 2 pi divided by omega 2 here omega 2 is 4 pi so t2 will be 1 by 2 second right so now we have t1 and t2 to identify periodicity we need to take a ratio of t1 and t2 so if you identify ratio of t1 and t2 then that is 2 divided by half 
means it is 4 and this is rational integer number. As this is rational integer number, one can say given signal x of t is periodic signal. Now we need to identify fundamental period of this x of t. See fundamental period that is LCM of T1 and T2. Here we have T1 and here we have T2. So fundamental period that is LCM of T1 and T2. Now what is least common magnitude in between T1 and T2? So based on observation directly you can say. If you observe T1 is 2 and T2 that is half. So if you repeat T2 4 times then it will be 2. So you can say in total T1 and T2 that is having LCM that is 2 second, right. So here LCM is 2 second, right. So always remember as and when you calculate LCM at that time you need to check relative motion of signals. Here if you observe T2, so that is half. So if you repeat this 4 times then it will be T1 that is 2. So least common magnitude in between T1 and T2 after which there is a repetition of signal. So that is 2 second. So one can say fundamental period is 2 second. Now I will increase complexity. So here we will be having fifth question in which we need to identify periodicity and fundamental period. So first of all we need to identify duration of these three signals. So here we have omega 1 that is pi. Here we have omega 2 that is 3 pi. And here we have omega 3 that is pi pi. Now based on this we need to identify t1 that is 2 pi by omega 1. So if you place omega 1 is equals to pi t1 will be 2 second. Here we need to identify t2 that is 2 pi by omega 2. Omega 2 is 3 pi. So t2 that will be 2 by 3 second. And based on omega 3, we can identify T3. T3 that is 2 pi by omega 3. So if you place omega 3 that is phi pi, then T3 will be 2 by phi. Right. Now we need to take a ratio of T1, T2 and T3. So here let us identify ratio of T1, T2 and T3. So if you observe, here we have 2, then here we have 2 by 3, then here we have 2 by 5, right. If you take LCM, then this 3 into 5, 15 that will come here. So this will be 15 into 2, 30. 5 is getting multiplied with 2, so that will be 10. And 2 is getting multiplied with 3, so that will be 6, right. Now, if you observe this signal, then from this signal, you can take LCM of 2. So if you take 2 common, right, least common magnitude, that is 2. So here we will be having 15, colon, 5, colon, 3. Right, we are taking 2 common. Now why I am saying this is what we are taking over here. The reason is, this is what fundamental duration. Let me explain. See, fundamental duration is least common magnitude in between T1, T2 and T3. Now, why I am saying this is 2? The reason is, here we are taking 2 common from this ratio. And if you cross verify this, then here you can observe this T1 that is of 2 second. And this T2 that is 2 by 3. So, after 3 cycles, this T2 that is having in total 2 seconds and after 5 cycles of T3 again there will be 2 seconds, right. So one can say after 5 cycles of T3 there will be 2 second duration, after 3 cycles of T2 there will be duration of 2 seconds and after 1 cycle of T1 there will be 2 seconds. So in total 2 second that is least common magnitude in between T1, T2 and T3 and that one can have by having one digit common out of this. So that is 2. So here we have 2 second 
that is fundamental duration right i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video